Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Zone by Vortex Bags. Let's go ahead and dive in and break down this bag. We'll start with the slow side material. This is that Pro Advantage Viking fast side. It's a seven speed material in most, in most conditions, or at least in normal dry conditions, seven speed. It's fast, but controllable. It's a very soft material. It's very hole friendly. It's a wonderful material. The only knock I would say on this is when the boards start getting damp and moisture on there from humidity, this material will kind of soak up that moisture and starts to slow down. It's still playable. Like it slows from a seven speed down to like maybe a four or five until it gets like really humid and may get a little bit, but it still becomes, it's still playable. It just becomes a slower material. Normal dry conditions, seven speed on this slow side. Fast side, this is your Pro Sniper, Deadhead, Viper, fast side. It is a nine speed material, crazy fast, slides up pretty much any board conditions, pushes through anything. Wonderful material. So you got a seven and nine speed. This is your fast, faster bag. If you love speed, this is a this zone is a definitely a bag for you. Template wise, this is um, I'm gonna call this a medium tip, but it's on the smaller end of medium, but it still fits kind of in that medium range for me. So it's kind of I don't want to say a medium, but it's a it's that smaller medium template template bag. It's it's a medium template, but it has more characteristics of a smaller bag than a larger bag. Uh, it, it, it is, and in fact, you can see there's a, there's, there's a decent amount of fill here. So it's got flop, but it's not crazy floppy. So if you like faster bags, but you don't like really floppy bags, again, this zone is what you're looking for. Um, cause it, it's not, it's, it's, it's got enough flop, which I want flop in a faster bag. I, I want some flop. Um, some people don't like a lot of flop. So I think what Vortex did here was design a bag. It had just enough flop to make it forgiving, but not crazy floppy that it, that, that you can't get a grip on it and you don't feel like, and you can feel like you still have control over it, right? Uh, it's that it's the fill in here is that disc fill. I think it's a hundred percent disc fill. If it's not, it's like 95, 99% disc fill. There may, there may be some filler beads here possibly. It's hard to really tell, but it's mostly a disc fill. So you get that really nice, soft hand feel, really fluid hand feel. This bag lands very soft on the board. It runs pretty straight and true up very little to almost no kick on it whatsoever with this disc and this fast side material, or this seven speed material on the slow side, it truly really takes out a lot of the kick. So the bag runs pretty straight and true. Even if you've got some wobble, if you've got some tilt or the other, it's still gonna hit and run pretty straight up the board for you. Um, now let's go ahead and jump in from there to playability on this. Uh, this bag is a bag designed to just put bags in the hole. If you're if you're a player who likes to just run bags in bag after bag after bag in the hole, this zone is what you're looking for. It right? it doesn't have a lot of bounce to it. Doesn't have a lot of movement to it. So it's not a bag that you're going to be looking at shape and shot. So you're you're not you're not rolling and flopping this bag. I'm not saying you can you can't. You know, a, an advanced player can roll or flop any bag. But for most people, this is not a bag you're rolling or flopping. It's not even really a bag you throw a lot of cuts with. You can you can cut this bag. But you're not getting any hard cut. It's a very subtle, very, very small little kind of slight cuts you can get out of here. But again, because this, this slow side material is pretty fast, it's not going to grab much on the board. And you've got this flat disc. The bag doesn't have a lot of bounce or movement. It's, it's going to hit and really kind of flatten out and run right up. You're not going to get a lot of those, those turds you, that you want on some stickier materials or some bouncier fill in there. Uh, but that being said, Vortex does have the Storm 2.0, which I've actually... Uh, but, but I got a set of them right here that I've got review of this coming out probably another week or so. So stay tuned for this one. This has a little bit more of a bouncier feel that if you're, if you're wanting a faster bag that you can shape shots with that storm 2.0 might be a better option for you. As far as the zone, so this is just a straight true running bag. You're putting bags in the hole. Now, um, I mentioned the humidity on the slow side, kind of the one, one issue there. Another issue I will say on this, and for me, if you watch my videos, you know I prefer more of a mixed fill, more of a bead fill. I just, I, I think one of the problems with this 100% flat disc or mostly flat disc fill is bags want to hang on the hole. Now, this is a forgiving bag in the sense that there's there's enough flop here. You know, I, I talk about landing zones, right? So you, your your fuller bags have a smaller, net, narrower landing zone. As you get floppier, they get bigger. This is probably a little bigger than normal landing zone. And what I mean is, you know, if you're off left or right when that bag goes up, there's enough flop that you can just catch that corner of the hole. It'll it'll grab it and spin that bag around. If you have enough speed, the bag will spin around and drop right back in. But if your speed's dying out, that bag will spin, grab it, and sit. And once it sets, I find it pretty difficult to collect this bag. And I think it's just because of that disc fill. I mean, these two materials, very hole friendly. They don't stick. They don't hang up. But when you add this flat disc, once that bag stops and settles, it's hard to get this fill moving again to get this cascade unit. So when I had bags sitting on the back lip, the back corners, just throwing bags and just taking bag after bag in the hole wasn't enough to grab this. I had to come, and I think there was a time or two. I even, even hit an airmail 
and still couldn't drag these bags in. Um, now, if they're sitting on the front, you know, the front corners or the front edge, you can go after them. You can get them. I, I didn't have any issues. Like if I go after a bag and, and clip a corner, you could spin it around and you usually take it in if you can get it moving. I had no problems with these bags bunching. I mean, they're 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 floppy enough. They're loose enough. They didn't really want to bunch. So if you've got a bag on, you know, hanging on the, on the edge, you want to step out and come after it. You can catch it. You can put it in. The bags are are full enough that if you if you throw one short. And you want to collect it you can clip a corner right they're not those loose floppy bags that are cording up and and I talk about how they have a hard time collecting you can clip this corner take it and drag it in so if you do have a bag hanging in there you can definitely collect it this is not a bag that you're going to be throwing a lot of blockers with not saying you can't block with it you can you can control this fast side this slow side you can control enough to throw a blocker the problem is it's fast enough that it's not that it's not that sticky it's not awfully much resistance it's not a big bag so it's not taking up a lot of real estate so if you throw a blocker up there and your opponent has a, a stickier bag or a bag that, you know, a little, with a little more movement, they can easily cut around it. They can roll over it. I mean, they can easily go through it, right? I mean, I, in fact, with these bags, you know, I, I'm pushing, I'm going slow side for 99% of the time and I'm throwing to, to push through. You can push through these bags. They don't offer a lot of resistance. So if your opponent just wants to throw through it, as long as they're comfortable with it, they can go through it. So it's not a great bag for throwing blockers. It's not going to offer any kind of resistance. It's not going to kick bags off. It's more of a visual obstacle if you want to put it up there. And, and like I said, this is this is a material and this bag is better designed for just running bags in the hole so this is a bag really for you're just wanting to outscore your opponent boot bag for bag i will say if you have an opponent who's throwing a sticky bag you know one of those sticky carpet bags they're their opponent who likes to throw blockers all the time through at the board this is a great bag because it does have a little bit of that smaller ish type template it, it, it's at small to medium is it it's not small but it's getting close to that that when their blockers up there you can step out and kind of just bully into that blocker and go right around it right so and, and these bags do a really good job of that and because they have enough flop and enough speed you bully in you just you, you just got to spin around and catch the hole and they'll drip right in for you pretty well so all in all i love the bag I, I, they're fun to throw i put a lot of bags in the hole so availability in these bags vortex has a website it's vortex-bags.com i'll put a link in the description for you so you can click on that if you're interested in buying a set uh, they have, they seem to have bags of stock all the time. And I was looking at quite a few different options, some, some different designs, some different uh, pro player styles, um, some other special releases that they had on the website. They had quite a few different colorway options. So there's a good variety of bags out there to choose from. They were $90 for a set of them. Uh, and when I clicked on them and, and, and went through the process, they, they, they were free shipping. I don't know if Vortex is always do, does free shipping. I couldn't see anything that said that they did, but... When I went on there just moments ago, it, it wasn't charging shipping, so I don't know. You'll have to, um, if you know, or if you know about the shipping, if it's always free or whatever, drop a comment down below, let me know. I'd, I'd love to be able to confirm that. But for these, as of right now, 90 bucks shipped to you for free. So I was like, it was like $96, $97 of taxes and all, all into it, under $100. Not the cheapest bag, by far not the most expensive bag. It's kind of right in that middle, which is a, a good sweet spot. And I think they're well worth it. You're getting a high quality bag for under 100 bucks. Um, and I, 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 again, I, I like these bags. I like what Vortex is doing. I recommend them. If you're a fast bag thrower that you like that flat disc feeling, feel in a bag and the fill in there, definitely check out the zones. I think you'll love them. I thank you guys so much for support and I thank you for watching.